Ever wondered how a team full of suicide-ish units would do against the legendary Goku event? Yeah, me neither. But who cares? Let's find out. What up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Tsunami, in front of the video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be exploring this suicide squad type team. So that's it? What, we some kind of suicide squad? <laughs> Got it. Basically, this team is focused around three particular units, and those three units are these guys. The Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku, the Manaka Beerus, and the Kaioken Blue Easy A Goku. These three units have one thing in common. When they use their super attack, they sacrifice health. How will this team do against the most difficult event in the game? We're going to try that out. We're just going to see how far they can go, but let's take a look at the team itself. So, this unit causes immense damage, sacrificing 7% HP. This guy causes supreme damage, sacrificing 7% HP. And the new EZA Kaioken Blue Goku sacrifices 5% HP while doing immense damage. There are actually a couple more units that do this. I had posted on Twitter a couple questions about units that sacrifice health, units that have really, really low defense, because I wanted to make this team as offensive heavy as possible. There actually are a couple others, but unfortunately I don't have them. One in particular, I kept bobbing the unit, which is the Chow Man, which I kind of regret right now. But it's okay because this is actually still a decently suicide-ish team because the lead is the unit that I hate the most in all of Dokkan, the unit that has actually got me killed quite often in the Goku event. So the SBR Goku, he and I have a history. Every time I take this guy into a free-to-play, no item, or just a free-to-play run in general on the Legendary Goku event, I lose. And it's all because of him. So what I decided to do for the remaining two units was to bring some sort of balance uh, to see maybe if they might be able to thrive. So with everybody else on the team having low defense or sacrificing health, I wanted to bring two units that would actually thrive in those emergency type situations. So the first is the Super Saiyan Rage Trunks. He increases his defense with a super attack. And then for his passive, he reduces damage by 40% all around. And then as his HP decreases, his stats shoot up up to 120% for both attack and defense. So in theory, this guy would actually thrive in the situation that will probably be what we face coming up pretty soon. And then the other guy is the Hercule Int. He is rainbow. He is one of the best defensive units in the game. When I say defensive, I don't just mean tanking. I don't just mean dodging, I mean everything. And he can also stun. Stunning's not gonna matter here in the Goku event too much, but the less HP you have, the more tanking he does, the more dodging he can do. So I don't think we're gonna get very far in the Goku event to be quite honest, but it will help prolong the process a little bit by having these two guys here. And then for the friend unit, instead of having two SBR Gokus, I decided to bring 1000 day Goku. He'll provide some attack stat buffing for the suicide squatters. He will also provide a little bit of healing because we are not going in with any items. This is not, this, this team is not going to get you anywhere. This is purely a meme team, if you will, a theme team, just to see how this team would work because I like, I like trying out new teams in Dokkan. I like thinking of new things and this is what I thought of. I'm oddly proud of it. So let's try this out right now on the Legendary Goku event. I'm gonna call, we're gonna get through, we're gonna get through at least the base form. We're gonna get through base form Goku. And I think we'll probably, we'll probably kick the bucket maybe halfway through Super Saiyan Goku. I, I don't, I've never used this team before and maybe I'm totally underestimating the offensive capabilities of the Thousand Day Goku, I don't know. But, you know what, actually? I know this is a this is supposed to kind of be a showcase for the Suicide Squad units, but I kind of want to push the boundaries a bit and maybe try to get a couple rounds in. So I think I'm going to use the Thousand Day Goku a little bit. I think I'm going to use the Hercule a little bit. Usually I would have just put them on the sidelines, but I think uh, we're just going <laughs> to we're actually going to try to go as far as we can by actually doing our best. And the great thing about this guy is the longer the fight goes, the more destructive this guy becomes. So there is our first example of a Suicide Squad unit in action. So he sacrificed 5% of our health. Doesn't seem like too much, right? Because it's only one attack. But when you've got three of them, it's going to add up. Trust me. So in this case, we've got one Suicide Squatter attacking first. He will do tremendous damage because he is a rainbow. But actually, that wasn't that much. Oh, I gave him some dodge. I didn't even realize I gave him dodge. 
And this will probably be his uh, chaperone unit. <laughs> Anywhere that that Kaioken Super Saiyan Goku goes, I think I'm going to leave that Trunks with him because other than the EZA Goku, that Kaioken Goku has the highest health cost when he uses Super Tech. There's got to be a reason that they would do this to a unit. There's got to be some sort of trade-off that makes the unit so devastating, so worth using, that you have to sacrifice health. For the Kaioken Goku, I can kind of see it, because every single turn he attacks, he gains 50% attack permanently, which is ridiculous. However, the Kaioken Super Saiyan Goku, I don't really see why you would sacrifice 7% health when his stats really don't seem very conducive to that passive. I, uh oh. Well, there it is. So, free to play. Free to play is getting us in trouble. Are we going to get out of the first round? I'd like to think so, but we might not. So, was that like a, a pep talk? Yeah. Uh, nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're going to have Trunks Tank in the beginning, and then we'll have Easy A Kaioken finish him off. He can get it done. And if he can't, we'll have uh, Super Saiyan Kaioken do it. I don't think we're going to need to, though, because this guy is a. Uh oh. Maybe we are in trouble. <laughs> Maybe we're not going to get past the first round. Come on, man. Come on, man. You're a rainbow. Show some show some pride, dude. Wow. 32k for a slap. 32k for a slap. All right. So we're going to have... We're going to have Hercule uh, do his thing. Hopefully that will save us. And then we'll have Thousand Day take him out. Kind of close, but we got it. Now the real fight begins. <laughs> We're so dead. Okay, so I had to put Monaka up front because he's a free-to-play, so he's not going to do any sort of damage. And I have to get him out of the way of these super attacks because if uh, we were to get supered on Monaka, we would be so dead. didn't attack my tank, which is kind of scary. I kind of wanted him to do that. He didn't attack my Kaioken either, so I guess that's good. He is probably going to attack Hercule, so we're going to have Hercule go first. And then we're going to have the Thousand Day pick up all of these orbs and heal us a little bit. That's good. Can we get another super attack? We can, but we're going to have to waste all of these orbs. Okay. So we live another day. And this is why you bring Hercule. <laughs> And there's a super attack. He's going to dodge it or he's going to take it. Or he's just going to get hit by it. But look at that. He took 24k. So that is that is just fine. Imagine if we actually brought Chow Men and we had four Suicide Squad units. I don't think we would sur I don't think we would have survived the first round. So this is actually this is a good balance. I'm glad that I did what I did. Because now we actually have a fighting chance to make this video somewhat competitive. All right, so Monaka is the biggest weakness on the team, so any chance that Goku can get to attack him, we have to make sure that doesn't happen. So we are going to sacrifice the into SBR Goku in exchange for Monaka. And fortunately, since we're not going to be getting very far, uh, everyone can evade, which means SBR Goku has a medium chance to evade enemies' attacks, and he has been known to do that in the past, so that could come in handy. Now, Monaka is attacking a second time. Unfortunately, with each super attack, you are going to lose 7% health. So with that, ironically, even though Monaka went on the offensive, we still end up losing health, which is funny because we are almost dead. Almost dead. This slap might kill us. Ooh, the slap almost did. <laughs> All right, we're hanging on by a thread. Hanging on by a thread. Thanks to the Thousand Day, we heal back a little bit, but the Dokkan attack will surely heal us. Oh, shoot. The Dokkan attack is going to be on a type disadvantage unit, so we are not going to get very much from this. I should have... I should have swapped them out. Wow! Really, really bad. Yeah, that just happened. Three in a row. Okay. Ooh. Okay. 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 And now, whatever we gain back, we're about to lose 5% of it. 
Very cool. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. We got some health back. If we can kill... If we can kill him in the first two attacks, we're safe. This definitely won't kill him. This will just give Trunks the means to survive these next few attacks if they're super. Okay. No super. If Kyle can get a critical hit or if he can get an additional, we win. And yes, to me, this is considered a win. Oh, no. We're going to lose. We are going to lose so badly. He is going to attack Monaka and destroy us. One more. One more. Oh! Monaka with the dodge. Hold on a second. Let's take a look at this. Okay, you know what? I was smart. Who's shocked by that? Who's shocked that I'm smart? I gave this guy 15 critical. I gave him 5 additional and 6 dodge. Because he is a Suicide Squad unit, you have to give him some sort of out. And that was his out. I think they did the same thing for this guy. Yep. 9 critical, 8 additional, and 9 dodge. Very smart. Good job, Toon. Good job. And with that, we are back in business. The fight rages on. I love it. I love it. We have exceeded expectations. We are going into the Super Saiyan 2 Goku round with a no item Suicide Squad team. Who called it? Triangle. If uh, Kaioken gets supered at the end, that's game over. But that's okay. That's okay. We we made our statement. We made our statement. This is a fun, ridiculously stupid team. But I don't care. I had fun. Trunks, I appreciate the effort, but too little too late, buddy. You disobey me, you die. You try to escape, you die. You otherwise irritate or vex me. And guess what? You die. You know, people like to say that Dokkan is always dry, or Global is always dry, there's nothing to do. I disagree. You can always, there's always something to do in Dokkan. Try it out different teams. Try out different teams. Why not? So, this is the Suicide Squad team. We got to Super Saiyan 2 Goku with a no item Suicide Squad team. You know what? Let's throw out another challenge. Why don't you try this out? See how it goes. How far can you get with a no item team into the Goku event? Just go nuts with it. Who cares? Who cares? So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments if you've ever thought about doing this type of a team before. And if so, how far did you get on whatever event that you tried? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. And click that notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Triangle. Study. Thanks again, stay tuned, and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.